guys, this is Cody from Nickrit, and today we're going over how to make this really cute Mr. Saturn from the video game Earthbound. I used to play it a lot as a kid, and I've been seeing some plushies of Mr. Saturn circulating around, and one of my friends demanded that if I'm making a Ness, that I absolutely need to make a Mr. Saturn. So I made a little Mr. Saturn, and a Ness Emigurumi tutorial is actually going to be coming out hopefully in the next couple of weeks when I find the time. I've got a fairly busy schedule on my plate right now with the summer coming up. All right, let's get started. For this project, you're going to need a skein of cream-colored yarn. I'm using Vanna's Choice for both yarns today. You're going to need a little bit, not a full skein, probably honestly less than 10 yards of red yarn very little. You could also just use red, red felt and I'll show you how I'm going to do that. Uh, you're also going to need pipe cleaners. I'm using two black pipe cleaners, two safety buttons, a darning needle for sewing, a size J or six millimeter crochet hook. I'm using a Susan Bates crochet hook. If you don't want to use the red yarn, you'll need a red piece of felt for the bow on Mr. Saturn. All right, let's get started. To start your Mr. Saturn, we're going to make the base of it, which is the ball that is basically his body. So how we're going to do that is we're going to make a magical ring with six single crochets on the inside of it. Then we're going to expand six stitches every single row until we reach 42 stitches. So we'll increase every single one for the next round, every other, every third, every fourth, every fifth and then every sixth on this row right here. And then you'll have 42 stitches, and then we'll go and single crochet for 10 rounds. And when you're done with that, we'll start doing our decreasing rounds. And I'll see you when I have 10 rounds done on the base that is my increases right here. I'll see you there. So before I get my decreasing rows done, but after I've done my 10 rows here, I like to add in my pipe cleaner. So the pipe cleaner, I like to feed through the very center of my original six stitches, and then I feed it also through a bunch of the stitches around here and I just try to weave it through and make it nice and tight and secure so that it won't come out again. So that's how I get that to adhere. And next, I try to make this so that about an inch of it is going that way just so it's pointed just like in the pictures. So then next we're going to do decreasing. And the way that we do that is we're basically just doing the inverse of what we did when we were doing our increasing rows. So here we stopped at increasing every sixth. So here we're going to skip every sixth stitch and that's about it. We decrease six stitches every single round. So here we're going to single crochet five and skip our fifth. So we would single crochet in here, skip this one, and then go right into this one. And then the next round we would single crochet four, skip the fifth, single crochet three, skip the fourth, and so on and so forth until you get to the end where you're just going to decrease every other until you get to it being closed up. So that's all there is to it. I stuff typically around the halfway point there, so when you single crochet three and you skip your fourth, I would typically stuff when it's about there, so that's about an inch and a half or two inches wide in the circle area. That's when I stuff. And I do that by pushing to the sides and then pushing stuff in the middle there for the stuffing. And then next up, I'm going to show you how to do the giant nose. For your large nose, you're going to start out just like you did on the body, where you make a magical ring with six single crochets inside of it, and then you're going to increase until you're increasing every fourth, and that will be at 24 stitches. So next up you're going to single crochet around for six rounds and then we're going to repeat what we did with our uh, body and we're going to decrease in the inverse way that we increased. So we're going to single, cro single crochet for six rounds and then we're going to, on the decreasing rounds, we're going to single crochet three, skip our fourth, single crochet two, skip our third, single crochet one, skip our second, and then we're just going to decrease until it's closed up. And that's basically what we're doing for the nose, and then we're going to adhere it, either sew or glue it onto your body. I find that sometimes hot gluing it, if you do it the right way, can actually adhere it a lot better than just sewing on with a needle and thread, or your darning needle, but whatever method you want to use, all you need to do is make sure that it's opposite to wherever you want the front of your face to be. And I'll see you when we're gonna start working on our feet. So for the feet, we're going to work on doing a six single crochet in the center there and our magical ring, and then we're going to increase every single one so we have 12 stitches, and then we're going to single crochet around 
for six rounds. And when we're done with that, we're gonna make two of them and we're gonna sew it along the bottom on either side of the giant nose for our Mr. Saturn. And then when you're done with that, you're also gonna wanna stuff these uh, just a little bit. I usually put it just towards the end of the, the foot so like it'll be all cushioned towards like the bottom of it. And I'll leave the top part where we sew on not quite as full so that it's like nice and rounded that way. And next up we're going to work on the assembly of the face and finishing off. Next up we're going to work on the bow and the way that we do the bow is we're using our red yarn, we're going to chain three and then just go back and forth for six rounds. Slip stitch off and you'll have a piece of fabric that looks like this. I then took my darning needle and made it so that the yarn was going through the center so I went from here and I went through the stitches here and I went to the center. Next up we're going to wrap around between here and going around the entire piece here. So we're going to wrap and just try to make it as taut as we can going back and forth this way and then going and wrapping around this way. Making sure we go back and forth and you just keep going and when you're done with your wrapping you can then sew in your tail into the little piece here and when you're done you can wrap when you're done wrapping you can sew in your tail through the rest of that and then your bow is pretty much done next up we're gonna go over how to make mr. Saturn's little whiskers see you there next up we're going to take a pipe cleaner and we're going to cut it so that it's about four inches long next up we're going to line it up so that it's top is going just slightly above the nose and we're going to feed it through the stitches basically right like this. I'm not actually figuring out exactly the placement but that's basically how we're doing it. We're feeding it through two rows, two rows, and then having it come out the other side like so. Actually that came out really well. All right, my placement was right. All right, and that's basically how you do the whiskers. It's gonna stay because well, other than you t pulling on it, it won't really fall off too hard. And I just try to straighten out my whiskers as best as I can. Try to make them all outward and everything. And then I also try to get it so that they're facing more this way. And next up, we're going to work on the eyebrows and the buttons. So for the eyes, we're using little safety buttons and we're going to put the eyes right around here. We're going to hot glue them on, or you can actually sew them on, however you want to adhere your eyes. And then with the eyes, I made these little tiny eyebrows and a little guy has. I did that by making a rectangle and rounding off the edges. I did it for about an inch in width and then half an inch in height. And then I'm just going to hot glue those on and make it so that it's at an angle like that. So he does kind of always just look a little confused. And then I do it on both sides, and then our awesome little Mr. Saturn is all done. And I'll see you when I get that all glued on. And when you get your face put on, that's all there is to it, really. Be sure to hit like and subscribe to our channel. It really does help us out. If you subscribe, you'll definitely be in the know from when we post our lovely little Ness Amigurumi tutorial. And I am hoping to get that up in the next couple of weeks. I really hope you liked this video. Alright, until next time guys!